All right, well today we're gonna learn how to fix our, we're actually not gonna learn how to fix, we're gonna show you some common problems on a uh, club car, golf cart, electric golf cart charger. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up the case, show you the two main problems that they have, uh, and go from there. So, first off, if you're watching this video, uh, you probably, your charger's probably already broken. So you've been searching away for it to fix it yourself. And uh, you could also be something on your cart, so always check your cables. And then uh, club cars are also uh, equipped with computer, 1997 and newer. So that could also be your issue. So it may not be your charger. Uh, best way to check is to try to find somebody that has a club car charger that you can use. Uh, just to plug into your cart to see if it works. But anyways, we're going to assume you've done that, and we're going to go here and uh, open up the charger. So. Let's take a look. First off, what you're going to need is uh, a screwdriver of some sort. You can see here I'm using a power screwdriver, obviously. A uh, power screwdriver is going to be good on the externals, but not good on the internals. So do not use this inside of the charger itself. And then pretty much anything you ever fix, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers. And these needle nose pliers are nothing special. No certain size, just a pair of needle nose pliers. I always like to take the top off first, the handle. You can do whatever order you want on these. I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. You got four screws here to hold the top one. And then you got, that just comes right off. Four on each side. And then of course the four on the other side. The cover on these carts, excuse me, chargers come right off, unlike the easy guys. They just pull right off. Anyways, from there, uh, you can see some of the internals. Before I pull any wires off, um, I always like to take a uh, cell phone picture, or you, know, you can draw yourself a small diagram, because you do have a lot of voltage running through these chargers. And don't do anything that um, you don't feel safe doing. Because sometimes I have people that uh, honestly don't want to you know, shock themselves. So anyways, um, two common problems. Uh, number one is this rectifier back here. It's called a rectifier. And what this actually does is dis displaces the heat uh, from the charger. Here, just go through it real quick. You got a fuse here, which you can always kind of check and see if it's good. It's very rare that this fuse goes bad. And then you got behind it a transformer. If the transformer on your cart is bad, you might as well go, I mean, on your cart, on your charger is bad, you might as well go ahead and throw away the actual charger, but before I threw away any charger, I would get your local shop or us to actually check the charger itself to make sure that is your issue. You've also got here on the other side, I'll give you a quick look. This is a common problem because people like to pick their chargers up by the cords. Uh, there is a ground wire here, and there is also the wires that go here to the uh, fuse. If you're blowing this inline fuse, which is number one problem, that happens a lot. It's usually this bridge rectifier. And uh, the rectifier is not, not expensive. Just in case this video is on for years, I'm not going to give you a price of it, but it's not really expensive. It's a pretty easy fix. And when you replace this, you're also going to want to replace it with some thermal paste behind it. That's just going to give you good longevity. Second issue you could be having with your charger is that when you plug it in, you don't hear a click. Now, not hearing a click could be one of two things. A number one, what's happening is there's not a connection getting from the relay, which is this box right here, to the computer on the cart. So it could be two things. The computer could be bad or the relay. A real easy way to check this relay to see if it's bad is to actually jump the uh, two wires here at the top 
and all you're going to do is pull those off and you can insert yourself a uh, test lead onto these two wires or what you can do is you can actually build yourself a little homemade uh, connector wire which is what um, I've done and basically you're just going to take those two wires and plug them into that so anyways to make a long story short um, there's your two issues that you can have common with your charger again number one is the relay which is also not a very expensive item to replace uh, that doesn't take very long at all but when you jump those wires and you plug it in that is not a long-term solution that is just a short-term solution and what can happen is if you try to use that as a long-term solution it will burn your transformer so or the wires in between it so for safety reasons I would just go ahead and bite the bullet and replace that relay so anyways there's your insides of a club car golf cart charger and uh, pretty simple pretty easy uh, I would say nine out of the ten chargers that we get for repair are either this relay or this rectifier over here common things people think of this uh, fuse button is popping out in the front the first their first idea is boom it's that fuse that's the problem but it actually again is usually the heat displacement like we were talking about over here on the on the uh, rectifier so I hope that helps somebody and uh, best of luck to you if you need us we're at valleycarts.com um, or you can call your local shop thank you